Amazing. I love the Rotorag guys, but they've been stuck on 4S for too long. So I brought a drone that offers three times the power. It's a 12S mini quad. That is too much. It is not too much. What, what are you gonna do with all that junk? Try this bad boy out. Oh God. It's so heavy. It is. What is this weigh? It's like that six pounds? I have never actually weighed it. I think it's actually pretty heavy. I don't heavy. want to know at that point. These are running seven inch props on a 2812 stator, uh, 900 kV. And I took these ESCs, which are APD ESCs, which are generally made for like X-Class drones. So like Zoe flies these on her X-Class rigs. Two 6S packs in series, and then they both plug in at the same time. But if you calculate the 900 kV up to uh, 12S voltage, it actually has a higher RPM than like 4S 2700 kV. Really? Just the idea of 7 inch props spinning at a higher RPM yes. than 5 inch props, that's already right. a little scary. But because of the high voltage and the huge stator, the motors actually stay relatively cool. Okay. And it can actually kick those props up to the high RPMs. Oh my so gosh. So it is hilariously fast. It's What's fast. the total voltage then? That puts that's it at 50 volts. 50 volts yeah, exactly. 50.4 like, is full. That is, that's a lot. Yeah. That's, that'll shock you. And when you you plug it in, it's like pow. Uh, so it just kind of pops every time you plug it in. It's a little, it's a little sketch. Nice. Yeah. Now I'm also noticing there's two other batteries back here. You've got two, <laughs> one cell. Are these just like tiny wood batteries? Yeah. So this was uh, just like an afternoon idea. I was like, ah, I'll just build this quad with 12s power, and I didn't have a way to step down 12s voltage to 5 volts on mm -hmm. hand. So I literally just took two tiny wood batteries, put them in series, and then powered the receiver, video transmitter, camera, flight controller, all off of that, and then all the motors and ESCs are powered off of the 12S. Okay. Now, this is a terrible build. Again, it was just like an afternoon, so like the VTX is there, and then the VTX antenna just goes front into the carbon Where sandwich. Is it? You use the smallest video transmitter. It's On like, the biggest one I have, yeah. The, this, it's just like a... It's a TBS Unify Nano. This is, this is a very interesting build. I could definitely spend a lot of time just kind of dissecting everything you did here. Let's take this awful build to the resident drone builder. <laughs> see what he thinks about my beautiful, beautiful work here. Give us a full critique on the build. I like the side of jobs, nice and tight. Wow, arms are beefy. Yeah. Wire well, could be a little bit nicer, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I'm sure this is a prototype, right? I, I, threw, I threw it together in like an hour. Yeah, let's, let's go with it's a prototype. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, look at how immaculate his stuff is, you know? It's just like, oh, that's so pretty. All the wires are on this and then that's just like ah! I just stuffed two batteries so, in the back so you just threw the wires like ah! so if you want a real build quad get it from this guy here at Rotorite well I like how you hacked it together if you guys are interested in seeing more about exactly what Paul did to put this together he has a video on his channel where he really walks through everything that he did all the to, experiments. to make this fly yeah all the experiment I love watching yeah. a very real look into <laughs> the experimenting process that of making something like this possible check the link in the description to Paul's video but today we're just gonna fly this thing we're gonna see what this thing can do we're gonna get it up to high speed we're gonna try freestyling it around some proximity I mean, just up front like how mad are you gonna be if it gets broke? Like how much can we push? The it? only thing that I'm really worried about are the ESCs, which are hundred dollars a pop. Okay. I'll show you the plug-in process. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this pop sound here in a sec. Listen up, listen up. Oh god! I don't know if that's gonna translate on camera, but it really it sounded like you know those uh, those little snap pops. Like it, it's that loud. Like that. What? Who wants the fly first? <laughs> Not me. Edwin, you want first crack at it? All right, stepping up to the plate here. Here, come here, ready for this? Oh, God. No. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, that is so cool. You're only going to really have like a minute left on these back batteries. Mm -hmm. um, this is your arm here. Oh, my gosh. Get the radar gun. All right. Well, this is the end Don't of the kill me. Right now. Yeah, I'm gonna run along the black thing. Are you ready? I think that battery is already done because I watching that it was not accelerating. It wasn't as loud. If I could get like some more camera tilt, I think that would. Uh, oh, you want to yeah. go faster? Yeah. All right, ready for scary sound again? Yep. Yeah. That sounds like a. Sounds I like heard a it. I heard it. XT. It was like a freaking firecracker. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Coming in hot. How fast whoa, is he going? whoa. 92 right now. 92 and he's not even at full. 
Oh, oh. All right, we'll do some flippy floppies then. Like they're warm, but they're not like blistering. Oh, that's nice. But that's 50,000 RPM on a seven inch prop, which is absurd. I wouldn't say this is hardly any warmer yeah. than my motors right. on my five inch quad. But your motors on your five inch quad are running yeah. 2400 kV, 2500. Right. Are those nuts. batteries drained already? Just oh, yeah. those couple of passes? Yeah, yeah we'll That just it sucks them right out. Just. <laughs> I want a shot at this. Yeah, I got one more set. Oh, oh my, that pop, dude. I'm it's like a snap pop every time. Look at the braking on these ESCs, though. <laughs> This is a really great tune. This is really well tuned. Stone Cold Beta Flight stuck. No, what? <laughs> it's the ESCs. They're Pro Shot 1000. Wow. And they just have those amazing. That feels feel really, really nice. It's the ESCs. So it definitely has that kind of DRL racer feel where you don't get the RPMs instantaneously. You have to spool into them. Yeah, I, I, I said it felt like flying a turbo. I really feel the size of it. You know, you, you always kind of think like, what's gonna make it feel big? Cause it's the same camera, but you can just feel like, I know I'm flying a big quad and I can feel it. Sound does it for me. I just like hearing that thing. This is gonna get stuck in Spanish moss, or if we finally have something that can just cut through it. Oh, dude, my heart is like, I love this feeling. I love feeling like something, you know what I mean? Like, I've been flying five inches for so long that, like, it doesn't, I don't know, like, it doesn't have, oh, oh, I'm in the moss. Yeah, it's just cutting right through it. Um, it doesn't have that dangerous thing to it, you know? I just feel like, yeah, I'm flying my quad. It feels so normal by now. This has me going, like, dude, we're doing some stuff. All right, through another V. Yeah, you just cut some moss down right there. Yeah, a lot of moss. Got Should the power loop, nice. got the awning loop. Uh, I need to feel what an inverted yaw spin is like. That is so nice, Nurk. That is so nice. This is it so has nice. so much momentum. It's like, so like give, give it a full punch before you go into that, and you'll still be moving up. Yeah, that's you're still going up. So, now, yeah. you're, now you're falling. It's exactly what you're saying. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Tell me when I start falling. I'm okay. just gonna give it up. I thought we just did. No. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to perceive it with the fish eye. <laughs> like I feel like I can actually do five inch tricks. Like that wasn't a yeah. good one, but it was a juicy flick. Yeah. I really want to do a canopy dive, but I know I'm not gonna make do it. it. Go. You want you're me to do it? You're at the end of the battery. Are you sure you want me to do it? Yeah. Just tell us where so we can put a camera at it. I'm going up. Oh god. Okay. Oh no video. Oh, I made it though. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Dude, it seriously snowed out on me. I had no video. This is why we have TV. I had no video, and I just was like, oh, well, go for it. I mean, it'll just power through the, oh, that's water. Okay. Oh! <laughs> All right. Oh, bring it in. I don't All want right, it to end. That's probably the end of the battery. I'm having too much fun. I don't want it to end. Oh, the battery's probably pretty low. It's, it's like. I was ready to disarm in case he forgot when, what it was. When I fly, <laughs> when I fly Bardwell's Beast class, when he tells me it's time to land, I'm like, okay, it's over. I'm glad to bring it in. I didn't want this to end. I just wanted to, I just want to keep playing. Isn't it fun? I just fun? want to keep playing. It's so it's weird. It's really, really fun. Because you just have that right, it's just It's gone. really, really fun. Teleports. All right, it's time for another Florida Man weather report. Florida Man, what are we going to have today? What's the skies looking like? But no, it, we're fine. We'll be fine. There's no... I hear thunder. No. In that it's, case, it's no. What am I hearing? It's over there. It's over there. And it's over there. It's over there. But we're it's not here. We're in a strip of. of yeah. We're we're in the cone of 
Silence. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one set of seven inch props. And they're I on here. Not, why, why did you only bring one set? Did you just only own one set? It was, I mean, like literally, like I was walking out the door, I was like, ah, I should bring that. And I just threw it in. I'm glad you brought it. No pressure, Bubby. I've only flown five inch mini quads. So you've never flown, in, wait, you've never even flown like a six or seven inch? No. Have you flown even 6S before? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, so he's going no. straight from... So you're going from 4S to 12S. You're going straight to the turbo beast. Are you, Ooh. Are you scared? Oh, my heart's like pounding out of my chest. Oh my gosh, your gimbal tension's so tight. I'm not even worried about the quad. Loose gimbals? Ugh. I'm just like shaking, let's see. You cranked up the power? Oh, I mean the quad feels fine, but I hate the radio, no offense. $1,200 radio, he complains about it. Jeez. Yeah, I know. It's so scary, like, oh my gosh. Uh, it's so scary. You backed into the tree. Oh, I lost video, I lost video. Oh, this video. One, I did. Video went out. Just video went out. out, yeah. Oh, maybe the tiny little batteries died? Yeah, I think the tiny little batteries are just dead. You know, like, flying big drones usually, like, it's cool, like I feel like I'm doing like a thing, but I don't really enjoy the flight. That's it, I don't enjoy the flight experience. I enjoy like the exhilaration of like, oh, I'm flying a big drone, yeah. big expensive fast drone. Now I feel like, oh, I'm flying a big expensive fast drone and it shreds. That was fun. Oh, I'm so stoked with how this, this thing turned out. It exceeded my expectations. So you got the exhilaration of flying a big, heavy, you know, expensive machine, yeah. but it also had the capabilities of doing fast moves and smooth moves, and the tune was crazy. I can you said it was just the stock tune. <laughs> That's though? funny, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Betaflight stock tune. Maybe I tweaked it a little bit, but like I think for the most part, it's those Pro Shot what ESCs. What is Pro Shot? It's like a step. It's just like a faster communication. So it's even faster, faster, faster. Yeah. But you need like special hardware, and that's why those ESCs. I thought are, like, there was like diminishing bucks. returns, though. Like you know, because aren't the newer clearly birds not. You flight? liked it, I guess so. <laughs> the drone has the uh, the punch out of a five inch, but it's got the weight of a beast class almost. So yeah. like it just carries that moment. Which I, I know it doesn't necessarily make sense, and I get a little bit of flack for this, but I've kind of always thought that there's something to having a heavier quad for freestyle. It's just always felt to me that a little bit heavier allows me to kind of flow and toss momentum in a way. Like if you've ever tried to freestyle like a three inch, like just with- Super you know, lightweight, yeah, it just it doesn't have the same <laughs> kind of like fluidity. Yeah, like it, maybe it's just what I'm used to because my drones tend to be heavier. I'm really glad I got to flat. Maybe I'll, I'll think about getting my rigs up to, to 6S because yeah. I am still just chilling down here. <laughs> On for us, but thanks for but bringing it over. It was just it was an experiment with what if we just took it a step too far, and I don't think that it's like still the, not too far though. Right, let's well, keep going, baby. But let's I mean, like the, the point of there, like you're saying, there's diminishing points of return, so like it's not that much better, but it's fun. I so, think it's fun. You guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, seeing what's possible with a 12 as high-powered, out-of-control drone. If you want to learn more about putting it together, like we said, there's a link in the description to Nurk's channel where he walks you through all the different things he tried to uh, get this thing hooked up and get it in the air. It was not easy, and I'm glad that he brought it over here, ready to sealed go. up, ready to go, <laughs> so we just got to enjoy the, the best part, which is flying. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to see future episodes, and we'll see you next time. Bailey. Ha, <laughs> ha,